In this video, I'm going to show you how to add fake participants to your Zoom meeting. So we'll cover just one thing in this video, how to add fake participants. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there are a couple of potential reasons. You might want to test out different moderation techniques. You may not understand exactly how every tool functions, every moderation tool functions in the Zoom toolbox. And so adding some fake participants allows you to experiment without having to do so on your students uh, or other participants in the context of an actual meeting. It allows you to observe yourself from the point of view of a participant so you can check your lighting uh, or other factors like that and it allows you to test functionality that requires multiple participants such as things like breakout rooms and you can see how those functions work as well so lots of good reasons why you want to might might want to add fake participants to a, a zoom meeting for experimentation so let's do that so I have here a new meeting that I have created and only myself is currently in this meeting. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to go up into this information pane, the in, in meeting information over here. I'm going to click, click on that and I'm going to click copy link for this particular meeting. And then I'm going to open a browser window. But I'm not going to open just a regular browser window. Uh, now I'm going to go to the upper right. I'm going to click, click that three vertical dots and I'm going to click new incognito window. So now I have an incognito window and now I am just going to paste that zoom link that I copied and I'll press enter. Now it's going to ask me if I want to open zoom meetings. I'm currently using the desktop version of zoom. I'm going to click cancel because I've already have the desktop version open and that's myself as the Zoom host. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cancel that and I'm gonna go down to join from your browser. It allows me to type in a name. I'm just gonna type participant one. I'm gonna say that I'm not a robot. There'll be a little captcha that I have to do. So we'll do the crosswalk and the traffic light, buses, Bicycle. Okay, finally. And now I can join. I'm not going to bother joining audio, but notice now if I go back to my Zoom meeting, now I can see that I have a participant here. And if I open up participants at the bottom menu, I can see myself as host and I have a participant. Well, I can use this technique as many times as I would like. So if I go back to my new in my incognito window, I can open up another tab. I can paste that link in there again. Press enter, again, cancel, join from browser. We'll call this participant two. I'm not a robot. Crosswalks again. That's all of them. Traffic light and join. And again, going back to my Zoom window, now I can see I have myself and two participants. And I can practice all of the different moderation techniques or the other tools that are in Zoom. I can go to more, I can make those other participants host, I can put them in a waiting room and then go back to the incognito window to see what that looks like from the participant's perspective. I can remove, I'm not going to report. I can open up a breakout room and add a room. Oh, no, we don't, don't need that one. And I can assign those participants to the room, open all rooms, and then I can go back to uh, my participants window and see I now have the join option. I can join both of those. And now my participants are in that breakout room. And again, if I go back to the meeting, 
I can see participants one or one and two are in the breakout room. So this technique just allows you to do a lot of experimentation without having to, uh, you know, call up friends to join your Zoom meeting so that you can experiment on them. You can do this all from the comfort of a single computer, or if your computer is having some problems with all these meetings and windows open, you can use a second computer and just continue to copy and paste that link in there. Okay, thank you. That's it for this video.